Hello, I am Raj Kesi from Angel Engineering Consultancy. Today, I am going to tell you how to draw contour as well as cross section in Civil 3D. For that, you have to change this into the first ensure that you have changed this into the Civil 3D form. I have selected it already. Civil 3D doesn't understand in a normal Excel form. You, you have to change the uh, Excel format into the CSV. This is the data taken from the total station. I will change this into the readable Excel form for that. Just I am going to open new Excel. Microsoft Excel offset. I will give it as name contour plot and draw cross section. You can see here. First of all, go to open form and you can see here I have to taken it in survey data. Yes, you do not see the Excel form uh, that uh, not 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 excel form that i have saved in the total station for that select it all files now you can see here switch.str that is saved in the total station all files i will select it switch.str just open it next uh, this is the Finish. Now you can see here I have uh, changed the to total station data in the readable form that is point, nothing, easting, elevation and the description. We have to save this file into the CSP format. Save as. I will save it also in the survey data. I will save it as the CSP comma delimited. I will give it name as contour contour plot plot i draw cross section section but in the form of csp i'll save it again in same folder you can see here desktop survey data yes now i have saved it format save to draw the contour we have to insert the point from first of all we have to insert the point for that go to insert point from files select that point uh, just uh, uh, Excel just Excel that we have saved in the CSP format now this is in the readable format this is our point nothing is thing, but this is not a good format is thing, nothing point elevation so we have to change into the correct format this the point nothing is thing, JD we are, I will filter it okay you, you do not see any points here for that just uh, double click the scroll button now you can see here you see the different points just click one point here you do not see any description of this point uh, if you need the description just click one and go to point group properties and you can see here just elevation and description or whatever you like you can select it from here now I'll select just elevation and description from here. Okay, you can see here the different uh, elevation as well as the description. Uh, if uh, if there is not unstable, you can change uh, the, just by changing it in different scale. I'll change it as one in hundred, uh, one in five hundred. 
Now our task is to draw the contour. For that we have to go to surface and create surface. I will give it name as contour plot surface. Contour plot surface. Okay. Now, now we have created one surface and just to go to the definition and well, you can see here point files. Edit. Select the same file again. Contour plot and drop cross section. We have to select is this into in correct format. PNZ that is okay. Now we can see here how we simply plot the contour here. If you want to draw the cross section uh, or longitudinal section, just draw a well line. Just draw one well line, you can see here. Mm. I'm going to draw one well line here. Uh, make it as alignment create alignment from object if you want to reverse then reverse otherwise it's okay I have given alignment I, I, I will give this name as alignment i have given this just name as the alignment i do not want to erase entities i do not want curve as well okay now this is converted into the uh, object form if you want to draw, draw the just a longitudinal section just go to profile view no profile surface profile just um, add add draw in profile view just create profile view you can see here now we have draw the longitudinal profile if you want to draw the number of multiple cross section then just draw it pole line if you want to cross section of this position and the, this is this may be of road or uh, it may be other section as well yes if you want to we have just draw the longitudinal section you can see here and if you want to plot the uh, multiple cross section for that just go to alignment create alignment from object just select it multiple cross section okay i do not want to erase the entity also do not want to add curve in there we have just uh, create a alignment of to draw the multiple cross section you have to go to sample line sample line i have given this name as sample line cross section you can see here okay and just after that just go to the by range of station left swap width right means that means right 20 meter and left 20 meter it, it will plot the cross section of the 15 meter left uh, i will give it as 15 meter that means left 15 meter and right 15 meter if it is 20 then it will be of 20 meter left the increment will be a 5 meter it should depend on your necessity i'll just take it as five meter now 
I'm first starting to I'll make it as two so that that we have just selected the by range of station and after that just click it now uh, uh, now it counted in the different form it is uh, we will plot the cross section in fat meter interval if you want to plot the cross section in the um, in, in smaller section just 2.5 or 5 or whatever you if you want in the plot cross section 10 meter interval just select that now we have created a sample line as well to draw the cross section you can just go to the section views create uh, multiple section views please ensure that there should be a surface profile now we have this is the longitudinal profile we are going to draw the different cross section yes you can see how we simply plot the cross section of different chain edge starting from the chain edge and ending up to 183.04 that means you can see here this 183.04 180 183.0 it, it plot the cross section in different it just plotted left 15 meter from left and 15 meter right you can see here 15 meter 15 meter 5, 10, 15 meter left, 15 meter right, and this is the elevation. It has plotted different cross section. Thank you for watching my video.